when Omar and I started talking, um, and especially with the piece being outdoors, um, it was quite... It, it was quite important to have something that connected with the other artists as well. Um, and one of the things that I, for me, that's quite important is that, you know, I don't generally make work that is just one off and it just, um, the idea just, I don't know if I'm explaining properly, the idea doesn't just appear and that's it. it it's backed up with kind of, a body of work that I've done over past, you know, two, three years and, and possibly longer. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I spoke to Umar about and felt it was quite important to kind of show that connection and how, you know, how kind of, uh, you know, this, the major piece kind of came up and how it's connected to the other series of work in the studio. Um, so one of the piece that I, I felt um, is one of the series of work that's that's significant to the new piece of work is um, is the paintings that I've been working on since I think 2011, mm -hmm. um, and the paintings themselves stem from a series of work that basically um, uh, you know it's, uh, what happened was that I was making a piece of work that was to show some kind of movement where the viewer, as the viewer walks past the work, um, there's a change, there's a shift of colour and form mm -hmm. within the work. Um, but as my focus was on that, I, had, I hadn't realised that there was, there was a whole other layer of, um, of colour and geometry within that work that kind of came through accidentally. Mm -hmm. And it was that... Um, it was that kind of um, accident that I wanted to kind of focus because it, it was incredibly interesting in terms of how these two physical colours were interacting and creating another layer of geometry and colour and that I hadn't kind of anticipated would happen with the work. Um, but that third layer was um, was not, to me, was not kind of, tangible it's not something that you could touch mm -hmm. it's not something that you could it was it, in some ways it wasn't physical enough um so I've been thinking about it for a few years and the best way for me to kind of approach that and to understand that um interaction was to kind of start painting and start looking at kind of how um kind of one color works with another colour and what would happen um, if I started layering those colours. Um, and that's when the paintings appeared. Uh, but it, even, you know, even working on those paintings, they were for me kind of more like research rather than it, rather than a final kind of result, if you like. They're a stepping stone for something something bigger, something much more physical. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where the Abraj Prize came, comes in. So I proposed um, something that I hadn't realised how big it was, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I just knew that I needed the physicality to achieve what I want to achieve with the colour and form at the same time. Mm 